y is directly proportional to x squared. Given that when x is equal to 4, y is equal to 32, find a, a formula for y in terms of x, y when x is equal to 7, and x when y is equal to 512. We can see here that this is a non-linear proportion, but we can actually show by using graphs that y is actually directly proportional to x squared. Let's just have a look at this graph here. So here we've got that y is proportional y is proportional to uh, x squared, which means uh, that y will be equal to kx squared. So if we were to plot a graph of the points, so x against y, then we've got 0, 0, 1, 2, and we plot these graphs, they, they will form a x, um, a quadratic curve in the positive part of the axis. And there will be some constant which will relate the, the two parts together. So, what we say is that y is directly proportional to x squared. We write that as y is proportional to, directly proportional to x squared. That means that y is equal to some constant times x squared. And we can use the bit of information that we have here to find the value of the constant. So where k is a constant, when x is equal to 4, y is equal to 32. So substituting in, we get 32 is equal to k times 4 squared. Now 4 squared is 16. So we get 32 is equal to 16k. And therefore, if we divide both sides by 16, we're going to get that k is equal to 2. So putting my value of 2 into my formula, we're going to have that y is equal to 2x squared. So I've got my formula, and now I can use it to find b, parts b and c. Our formula is y is equal to 2x squared. So when x is equal to 7, y will be equal to 2 times 7 squared, which is 2 times 49, which is 98. When y is equal to 512, substituting in, so we put 512 is equal to 2x squared. Dividing both sides by 2, we're going to get 256 is equal to x squared, and we need to take the uh, square root. We normally just take the positive square root here, and we're going to get that x is equal to 16. The square root of 256 is 16, and therefore x is equal to 16. This is, let's have a look at, go back to this GeoGebra applet, and the GeoGebra applet I will um, put in the um, notes of this video. So we go to the, back to the GeoGebra applet. So here we have the GeoGebra applet. So here we have our uh, uh, y is equal to kx squared. Now that's, we get that by plotting x against y squared. But if I change this axis to, um, this axis down here to x squared, and then plot x squared against y. So we we'll plot the points 0, 0, 1, 2, 4, 8, 9, 18, 16, 32, 25, 50. I won't be able to get any more on, on the graph because the, the axis only goes up to 25. Then if I click, then you can see those points plotted and you'll see that they actually form a straight line. So you can actually see there is a linear relationship between uh, x squared and y and therefore this is this is why we can say that y is equal to and y is proportional to x squared the y is equal to x squared okay so going to the second page of this those are the x squared against y and then th th here is a copy of the graph and like i said i'll put the note uh, the geogebra applet in the notes of this video Okay, so this has been a, a video to show you how to do non-linear non um, variation. Uh, I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.